Hello, everyone, and welcome to our little Out Systems How To series. I'm Sven. I'm a consultant and trainer at AgentBase. And what I'm going to show you today is how to create your classic for loop, you know, from high code languages, for example. So um, you probably all know this for each widget here. The thing about this one is it always needs a list as an input. So as you can see here, my input variable has to be of type list. And that's what my for each widget would use here to iterate over. And here, for example, I just increase a, some counter local variable. So maybe you want to, for example, create a bunch of test data and you don't want to have to create a list first to go through and iterate, but you just want to have an integer, uh, an integer and say, um, I call this action with 20 and then I get 20 sample users, for example. So I can do this is with this if with a normal if widget, as you can see here. Um, and you can also see you need one more thing, and that's the local variable iterator. So how this is done, I'm going to show you now in detail. So let's create a new action and then we get the integer as our input parameter. Well, this also has to be an integer. And then, as I said before, you need your iterator. Of course, also of the type integer. And then, um, just for testing purposes, we make another local variable and say the counter, that's the one we just increase. So, what we do now is we take our if, and here we say, as long as our iterator is smaller than the input integer, we just go through this if loop. So we can say, as long as the iterator is, or when the iterator is greater or equal to the integer, we leave the loop. So then we have to swap our connector. And then here you could, for example, put in a server action to create your test data. Or what we would do now is just increase the value of our counter, just say counter is um, counter plus one. And now we also, of course, need to increase our iterator, because if we wouldn't do that, we are stuck in an infinite loop. Oh, that's really important because um, for, for each widget, autism doesn't allow infinite loops, but here you could build one. And then we just uh, connect those two. So we drag an arrow to the sign and from this sign back. And now um, the condition checks is the iterator greater or equal to the integer? If so, we leave the loop. And if not, we go through the loop. We'll do this then increase our counter and increase our iterator. So one more thing we now need to do is set a default value. Um, for default, it would be zero. If you want to start with zero, zero, that's fine. Maybe you want to start with one, then you would have to specify this in here. And that would be it. That's how you create your classic for loop in our systems. Thank you for tuning in, and maybe see you at the next one.